Hey guys, it's Victim Raid, and I've got the UD7. I was going to push it to 4.5 just so I can get my uh, CPU-Z validator bar. And as you can see, I have it set to 4.5 at the 45 multiplier. But with um, I'm running the F8 BIOS. When I go into the operating system, and it also says it here at 4.2, even though I have it set to 4.5, I think that that is the um, F8 BIOS like uh, limiting the overclock I can get, which is probably good because I don't want to explode like Lavco did. But I do think his was because of a fault in the board, like a, a defect. But it might not have been. And this might be what they're fixing with the F8, so yeah. Uh, 4.2 when the if I go into the advanced frequency you can see that I've got it set to the 45 you might not be able to see it because it's a bit bright but 45 and it says 4.5 gigahertz right there but it's not it's 4.2 so I'll just go boot Windows so and I'll show you what it says in CPU Z so just bear with me for a second while it boots. Shouldn't take too long on the M4. But I have noticed that the BIOS takes a little while to post with, since I got F8. And as you can see, I haven't caught fire. It's running beautifully. Oh. Oh, I shouldn't have turned it sideways, it's not going to work like that on YouTube. But yep, there it is, and I haven't exploded. <clears throat> so I'll load up CPU-Z. It's not on the solid state, so it might take a little while. Yep, and there it is there, 4.2. And it says the multiplier is times 42, when in the BIOS it's set at times 45. So yeah, I think that's an issue with the F8 bias. And yeah, that's all I was going to say. But oh, I'll do what Labco did. I'll restart with the default settings and I'll see if I catch fire just while I'm doing this video. Because I won't be bothered doing another one. Oh, and another thing with the F8, see my mouse is that way, but the, it moves sideways when I move it up and down and left and right goes the correct way and up and down also goes like that. So yeah, my mouse doesn't quite work properly in the F8. Every time it's different. Ah, ch -ch -ch. Load optimized defaults because there's no load default, there's only load optimized defaults. So I might need to fix my memory. I don't know actually. Uh, advanced memory performance extreme memory profile one. That's what I want. Because my uh, the F8 BIOS also detects my 2133 RAM as 1600, so I have to put it in the extreme memory profile to get it to work properly. But here it is, loading back up with the default settings after having overclocked it. I think it's going to do the dual post thing it does sometimes with F8 as well. It's another thing I don't like about F8. See, it loads the... Uh, uh, flash screen twice and here we are back in Windows I haven't caught fire so I 
don't think there's an issue with the UD7s. I think Lavko's was defective. But we'll see how he goes with his RMA board when he gets... I'd say they'll send him a new one, they won't um, repair it. But back at... well it says 1.2 but if I do anything strenuous it'll boost back up to 3.5 I think it does. I don't know. But yeah. There we go, that's all I'm going to uh, say in this video. Thanks for watching.